what we do is we keep putting off the revelation of Jesus until we live our life. I don't think that's what Peter was talking about at all. I think he was actually talking about preparing your minds in such a way so that your life is lived in the revelation of Jesus Christ. I think he's coming in you. I think he's coming in me. I think he's coming in us. And there has to be, oh goodness, there has to be a revelation of Jesus on the earth before he returns. Because there's not going to be this big, old, pretty, beautiful Jesus head on this skinny, emaciated body. Can't be. The head must match the body. Paul, I'm sorry, Peter is saying the same thing here that Jesus was saying here. The word repent is the word metanoia, which means to change the way we think. And then, hold on, there's a second part to it. There's a corresponding action that goes along with the new way of thought. It's one thing to think anew. It's another way to actually live. With me so far? This message is not really a message at all. It's really a person. Jesus comes up and he says, repent! Change the way you think! It's not about a history anymore. It's not about a past. Let's talk about him parting the sea. Let's talk about him and the plagues in Egypt. Let's talk about all these things of the past. Let's talk about how great Elijah was, how Elisha was. Oh, the mighty works of David. No! Repent! Think of it now. The kingdom is here. Right here among you. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. He's a person. He's alive. Quit believing in things and start wrapping your head. Prepare your minds around him.